In this video, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons to living in the city of Cleveland. Make sure you stick around to the end to find out why I think our state flower should be the orange barrel. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Hi, I'm Renee Velasquez, and if this is your first time to this channel and you wanna learn about everything there is to know about living in Cleveland, Ohio, be sure to tap that like button, hit the subscribe, and click that little bell so that you're notified every time we release a new video. Pros and cons to living in Cleveland. Number one pro, the moderate cost of living. Although the state of Ohio ranks number 13th in the country for property taxes, on average, the city of Cleveland's housing ranks about 18 plus percent lower than the national average. Homes are just affordable here. Number two pro to living in Cleveland, we have excellent education options. We have many public and private options that are nationally ranked in sports and academics. We have several options for trade schools. We have private and public schools that have international baccalaureate programs, and we have an entire international and baccalaureate district in Shaker Heights. And for my collegiate friends, we have options like Case Western Reserve, John Carroll, Baldwin Wallace, and Oberlin College. Number three pro, there are tons of things to do in Cleveland. We have so many places to eat and drink from the best corned beef at Slyman's to fine dining at the Marble Room to Michael Simon's restaurants to the wineries, cocktail bars. You are not gonna go out without food and entertainment in Cleveland. We have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Aquarium, Comedy Clubs, Playhouse Square for all of your shows and plays. We have the Cleveland Museum of Art. And for all my thrill seekers, we have Cedar Point, the capital of roller coasters. Number four pro for living in Cleveland, our lake and our park systems. Don't let anybody tell you that Cleveland doesn't have beaches because we do. Whether you like to speedboat, float on a pontoon, paddleboard, kayak, you can do it in Cleveland. And did you know that Cleveland has islands? We do, just hop on a boat and head on over to Catawba, Putin Bay, Kelly's Island, or Middle Bass for a fantastic long weekend with your family and friends. Take a trip to the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. They have fantastic opportunities year round. Just grab an annual pass and you can go to the Lantern Festival in the summer. You can go to the Christmas Light Festival in the winter. Tons of year round opportunities for the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo and our Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Hike there. This is the home of the Polar Express for the kids. And did I mention they have a wine train for the adults? Fantastic place to go and take the family, as well as all the Cleveland Metro Parks around the area. You can hike, you can bike ride, you can even ride a horse. Awesome times at our Cleveland Metro Parks. Number five pro to living in Cleveland, our sports teams. We are lucky enough to have three major sports teams. We have our Cleveland Cavaliers for basketball, we have our Cleveland Guardians for baseball, and we have our beloved Cleveland Browns for football. And boy, do we like to celebrate our sports teams. In fact, I don't know that you're gonna find more passionate fans. Cons to living in Cleveland. Number one con has to be the weather. We experience all four seasons here in Cleveland, Ohio, and sometimes we even experience all four seasons in one day. Let me tell you, it makes getting dressed in the morning very difficult, and all I can say is wearing layers is an absolute must. We have beautiful landscapes in the spring. Our fall colors are absolutely amazing, but the downfall are the extremes. In late July and August, our temperatures can get up above 100 degrees. It is hot. In the fall, winter, and even the spring, you're gonna have snowfall. Yep, from October all the way to April, you're gonna see snowflakes. In fact, the city of Cleveland on average gets about 62 and a half inches every single year. Number two con to living in Cleveland, and that is road construction. 
Due to the weather and the temp changes, it takes a beating on our roads and highways. They have to mitigate ice. This causes potholes and damage. And let me just tell you, due to the recent state and um, federal funding to fix those highways and roads, it seems like everywhere you turn, there's an orange barrel. In fact, I think the orange barrel should be our new state flower because they are everywhere. Third con to living in Cleveland is that Cleveland is a major hub for transportation. So we've got containers coming in by plane, by train, by boat, by automobile. So there's constant movement going on in Cleveland. So that means there's pretty much traffic everywhere. Our number four con to living in Cleveland is our Regional Transportation Authority or our RTA system. Now in downtown Cleveland, there's a bunch of ways to get around town, including some public use electric scooters, which is really cool. But our RTA system has buses and trains. And unfortunately, due to our weather conditions, they're often being worked on. So they're not really reliable transportation. Coming in from the suburbs to downtown, you're gonna have to hop on a really long bus ride to then hop on a train train to get into town. Conversely, to get to our airport, you may have to hop on a long train ride to get to a bus to get to the airport, and a lot of times those stations are shut down due to being maintenance. So it's kind of tough to get around with our regional transportation authority. Our number five con to living in Cleveland is our sports teams. Yes, that was a pro earlier, but it's also a con. Dare I say that our lovely city of Cleveland and our sports teams are pretty much known for the almost got their teams, right? So we love to celebrate our sports teams. We celebrate them really hard, but boy, do we wallow even harder. Good luck getting anything done on a Monday morning after a hard Browns loss. Everyone's miserable and it's a tough thing for us to get over, but we just keep coming back for more. We receive several calls a day from people just like you moving to the Cleveland area that want to work with our team. If this is you, we'd love to be the real estate team you choose. Our contact information is in the description down below.